Hello, friends. Good morning. Welcome to Commodity Market Discussion uh, with SD. I am SD, Shanand Dash, Multi Asset Trading and Investment Specialist. I hope trading is going well because uh, overall it, it has what we expected to happen. It has happened. So, those who prepared for this, I think uh, you, are, you have done well. But yaad rakhiega, kisi ka sunke trade mein recommend nahi karta, including me. You have seen, I have shown in last class ki mein dikha chuka hon ki her trade mein mein paisa nahi banata. Euro was down, though it was gold silver way compensate kar diya uh, loss ko. And euro loss was relatively small kyunki ho leverage position nahi tha. But VIX loss was relatively uh, bigger to the tune of 0.4% of the account. So uh, overall, uh, I think uh, the position tha, it has done well. So once again, a reminder, kisi ka sunke trade karna bilkul achhi baat nahi hai. Now first, I'm looking at trading economics. Yahan pe ek baar, uh, nazar, uh, rahe, what is the news? Aaj, jo volatility hum log market mein dekh rahe, the kind of volatility we are seeing in the market, uh, it is not done. Wo khatam nahi hua, kyunki abhi bhi Key events baki hai. Let's look at the three star events. Bank of England ka red decision a raha hai. Jo GBP players, pound players ke liye baut important hai. FTSE UK ka index ke liye important ho sakta hai. But largely GBP traders will be impacted by this Bank of England red decision. Expect hai ki aaj 0.25% or 25 basis points ka rate cut hone wala hai. But main event of the day, which is falling around Friday our time, that is Federal Reserve, yani U.S. Central Bank ka interest rate decision, jo expected hai, Fed bhi 25 basis point or 25 basis points rate cut or 0.25% rate cut will be provided. Followed by press conference from Chair Powell. So this uh, event will also add to the volatility. I am not saying that Fed will do something and do things is going to change. Fed is, I don't think, is going to say a lot of things that will change the market. But overall, this event will be used by a lot of big players to position themselves and also at times to trap us in the market. Uh, so let's, I'll, I'll have a clear uh, look what I'm going to do. You should not uh, listen to others and do, but I'll here highlight I'm doing video for me, my blog. And those who are my Fountain of Gold setup ke members, hai, uh, they will be helped, I guess, as well as those who are my currency commodity class, ke, uh, student hai, unko bhi main expect kar raun, some help hoga. Though I don't exactly main jo set up us class mein sikha ta hon, I don't use that because main is se trade karta hon, but that is hama log ka cloud master that is different from this fountain of gold, wo bhi badiya karta hai. Now uh, Malaysia we are not interested, main is China export growth has grown, this is interesting to me because China stimulus gaya tha so China trade surplus up, that means company sales are up, which is a positive news for China and especially interesting to me uh, because uh, this is, uh, means especially interesting to me uh, because after it is coming after the stimulus, it will help me to judge that the recessionary threat is China is one of the factors. If China recover, kar rahe, that, is, that means this recessionary factor diminish. Ho uh, so th ye, this will be very important. I closely China data ko monitor karta rahunga. Another interesting news is this is also Singapore Stock Exchange, which is steadily rising. So stocks, I can't say bull bearish or bullish everywhere or so we'll have to look at stock uh, individual index in my next video which will be for members now this japan uh, 10 year three month interest rate has gone up this is uh, more interesting to me uh, in this environment japanese yen interest rate going up is very very interesting in context of carry trade jo mere class kar chuke you know about the carry trades 
सो जापान में करेंसी येन प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इस इंटरेस्ट रेट के साथ येन का मूवमेंट विल बी क्लोजली वाचिंग साउथ कोरिया एंड वन रिबाउंड्स यूएस टेन ईयर ईल्ड व्हिच हैज गोन अप एस स्टेडी अहेड ऑफ फेड सो ब्रॉडली न्यूज़ आर डन मेन इवेंट आ रहा है इस द फेडरल रिजर्व नाउ लेट्स गो टू द मार्केट हियर मैं देखने वाला हूँ वाया माय फाउंटेन ऑफ गोल्ड सेटअप और इसके साथ साथ और एक इवेंट भी हुआ है दैट इज यूएस इलेक्शन वो दैट इज डन प्रेसिडेंट ट्रंप इज विल बी द 47th प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्ट राइट नाउ ही विल बी द 47th प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स हिज ओपोनेंट कमाला हैरिस हैज कंसीडर्ड द इलेक्शन उन्होंने अपना हार मान लिया है एंड ट्रंप हैज वन now trump has won some of the trump trades that has done well but it will ultimately depend on what are the policies they are taking up so ye uh, i'm going to discuss in my live marathon kal se probably mai theek se video nahi kar paunga uh, because mera live marathon aa raha hai do din ka hota hai ye along with the federal reserve interest rate decision so probably i don't think before sunday se pehle mai aap logo ko ya ye video aur kar paunga so let me uh, highlight what i'm thinking in terms of as we head to this important uh, event uh, first look is copper the direction change the bullishness disappeared jo bullishness hum log dekh rahe the it was dis disappeared completely because of this major fundamental event president trump won that means the uh, tariff pressure has gone up in china and if tariff pressure goes up and china in such a news is not so bullish for base metals aur aaj jo dikh raha hai china ka positive news aaya hai and we are seeing a correction in copper but it is copper is yet to be bullish in the 125 minutes time frame 125 minute time frame mein mujhe dikh raha hai aluminum zinc copper crude oil and natural gas rising in strength नीचे का मेरा लेफ्ट में जो स्ट्रेंथ मीटर है वहां से दिख रहा है एंड गोल्ड सिल्वर इज वीक एंड स्टिल फॉलोइंग इन स्ट्रेंथ एंड लेट्स लुक एट द डेली चार्ट नाउ बेट डेली चार्ट में आर एस आई स्ट्रक्चर से दिख रहा है वी आर सीइंग अ कम बैक नाउ वी गॉट अ सेल सिग्नल इन कॉपर ऑब्वियसली इट इज अ फंडामेंटल ड्रीवन बाई सिग्नल के ऑपोजिट ही आ गया Now, ये जब बाई सिग्नल आया था आई वॉन्ट दैट वी नीड टू वेट फॉर द सिग्नल टू क्लोज देन ओनली वी कैन बी कॉन्फिडेंट एंड वंस दिस सेल सिग्नल कम्स नाउ आई एक्सपेक्ट द मार्केट वंस इट ब्रेक्स बिलो दिस ये जो स्विंग लो बनाया एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स इट विल बी इवन मोर बियर इश राइट नाउ इन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स हम लोगों को एक करेक्शन मिल गया सो द अलर्ट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू प्लेस इयर दैट इज प्राइस एक्शन बियरिश मतलब फुल रेड कैंडल which is the minimum requirement in my setup a full requirement a uh, full red candle ki koi ek fresh position dalne ke liye sell ka hi jeetne ka probability is currently the highest i'll personally stay out of uh, base metals kyunki badhiya opportunity elsewhere tha aluminum strongly coming back in 125 minutes ye line chart se clearly dikh raha hai now i'll hide the line chart a bit तो यहाँ पे इट्स अ मिक्स मार्केट वही जो सपोर्ट एरिया था इट केम बैक एंड नाउ इट्स करेक्टिंग ऊपर एक स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस एरिया है ये जो फ्लैट लाइन होता है मेरे सेटअप में इट एक्ट एज स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस तो 243 के आसपास इट्स अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस एंड लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द डेली चार्ट इट हैज बीन इन अ रेंज फॉर वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम सो विद दिस काइंड ऑफ वायलेंट स्विंग जो हम लोग देखे इन वन ट्वेंटी चार्ट इन एल्यूमिनियम daily chart mein it's mix so it's best will be which my focus will be i'll avoid mai i'll avoid uh, aluminum even i'll avoid zinc zinc is going up today but overall agar dekha jaye we got a mixed signal in zinc and daily chart ke hisab se agar dekha jaye gold silver to fall ho hi raha hai only aluminum is rising in daily chart that means daily 125 minute dono mein aluminum is strong zinc falling copper falling in daily crude oil is strong both in uh 
125 and daily natural gas seems to be the same so zinc though i have a red cell signal broadly 125 minute remains mixed uh, nifty short term momentum is turning bearish i'll talk about nifty in my next video we are seeing a background yellow which is a full exit if the candle closes like this around 11 it will be a full exit from zinc short as per this time frame as along with my trading plan consolidation ka probability 71% so once again another good reason ki chalo ye market ko avoid karna ho after that i'll go to gold and silver 125 मिनट चार्ट गोल्ड डेली एंड 125 दोनों में बियरिश था हम लोग देखे हैं 125 मिनट चार्ट स्टिल वेरी वेरी बियरिश अभी तक कोई रिवर्सल नहीं दिख रहा है एंड आई ब्रिंग ऑन द लाइन चार्ट इट इज शोइंग दैट गोल्ड इज ग्रेजुअली मूविंग लोअर आज का मूव बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं हो सकता है पॉसिबल बिकॉज फेड है सो अनलेस फेडरल रिजर्व इज डन विद गोल्ड में remain in such an position and it's steadily moving lower so gold i remain bearish mai highlight kiya tha mere election video mein gold can see a big drop let's look at the line chart and niche ka meter up thoda hata denge to make it clear let's switch off the strength table jo niche aa raha hai Now strength table it's clearly when I highlight किया था ये beautiful breakdown हो रहा था gold में now gold has reached about a very important support area अगर support area will draw it's like this this is a smaller flat area so I'll make it lighter and this is the main area of strength 2557 2557 currently what can happen i think gold can go for a correction after reaching say steadily declining it's very difficult uh kyunki another mega event aa raha hai but overall gold looks very very bearish right now so my focus could be here if gold drops further throughout the day i'll probably be inclined to take some money home not too large probably one third jo profit aa raha hai before the federal reserve we can see a bounce back and then a bigger decline so i'll remain open and 125 minute chart mein i'll continue to focus remain keep my focus on gold gold steadily down ho raha hai so i don't have any reason to buy i'll hold on to my shorts now look at silver this one is going declining as well so unless we are seeing a significant up move clearing the 31.5 dollar area looks like silver is in for further decline steadily moving lower but ek cheez dhyan rakhna hoga ki consolidation probability thoda badh chuka hai so a correction hone ka with the fed is there there is a possibility that it is going to correct uh so but overall it's bearish so i'll maintain the bearish outlook and bearish positions in gold and silver the interesting of all the counters is crude oil crude oil i shorted yesterday and yesterday the way the volatility was jo bhi short karega usko very quick move karna padega has to move very very quickly because it was strong agar ab candlestick chart dekhenge so it strong move ke baad opposite side bhi equally strong move hua hai and it has been very volatile jaise maine highlight kiya tha apne post in social mein that it can remain stock in social it can remain very volatile to wahi ho raha hai crude oil mein ye interesting isliye mere liye hai ki if i look at the daily chart daily chart price is somewhat sustaining above this flat line we don't have strong move now this is this was the buy signal buy candle 
So now as if price starts sustaining and once again moving above this area, I'm likely to go long on crude. Because it could be in some sense a kind of a contrary trade. Though crude I expect heavily to be remain in a range, we have some tough resistance on the upside. But with these fundamental events changing, it can happen. And moreover, this could be an interesting trade because the sentiment you have, wo hai ki Trump, even I know that Trump has clearly said, drill, baby, drill, a policy is there. So somewhat mood, fundamental mood, though nothing has happened, Trump has yet not come. So fundamental mood is towards tilted towards bearishness because Trump will uh, produce more crude oil, is prone more uh, hydrocarbon production in US. US has a lot of reserves, so this can significantly increase uh, the production uh, of crude oil and finally lead to a decline. But those policies jo hai, wo abhi tak aya hai. it has not come up yet. So this looks kind of a contraposition where majority are thinking that yeah, crude should be bearish now, but there are a lot of this is this is isko mai bolta hon ki I have to open minded towards the asymmetric information. Asymmetric information in the world is very, very important. Paas, even if I know the global macro fundamental, I don't have a lot of news, events, policy decision. I'm not in Trump's inner circle. But here price is not confirming that it's bearish. When it was bearish, yesterday it looked, I shot it, but I'm very quick in terms of trading in changing mindsets and i know the Egypt fundamental themes eh, like say crude oil bearish because of trump they take time to play out and uh so i'm 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 uh here i'm uh thinking about long crude oil but i need some more price confirmation to give me kindly do not take listening to me because trading is very risky it involves high level of risk right mindset so, mera sunke kindly jam mat kijega crude oil. Mein. Crude oil is a very, very risky counter. Sab ke liye bilkul suitable nahi hai ye trading. Yaad rakhe. And as another example that I don't make money in every trade, though you have to manage the risk in terms of quantity, what kind of trade you are uh, taking. Like, let, let's discuss the NG trade. NG trade did not do very well. And so, 25 minutes I'm focusing. And NG trade, I it will do well. Uh, or I have the right trade. But sometimes before we get the right trade, there are chances of making falls. This is one of uh, those times. Uh, that it was a significant move. Uh, buy signal. Once the buy signal came, I waited for its high to clear out. And it has been positive. It reached the strong resistance area broadly and could not sustain. It was visible. So, but I still kept some position because this was a good level break. And we level ke aspas, it is uh, overall sustaining. But as the background turns red, jo ho gaya beyond our time frame, that means the stop loss is hit. When the stop loss is hit, I don't argue, make starts arguments with the stop losses or my plan. I just follow my plan. So NG trade did not work out. And how do you have to make sure that the risk is properly managed? You have to understand what kind of trade we are playing. We are playing within a cell bigger time frame, bearish. We are just playing a little bit of bounce backs. So those parts, how much you are playing with has to be managed very, very well. Now what can happen in the daily chart, it's still bearish. I'm getting a final full red candle, which is considered to be a re-entry if the short-term momentum is bearish, which is not. And in case of daily, I'll have to wait almost till the night to be confirmed. So, 125 minutes, 
रिमेन्स आ कम बैक पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर द बायर्स अगर मुझे कम बैक दिखा देन आल बी इंक्लाइन टू गो लॉन्ग अगेन बट आई कंटिन्यू टू मैनेज द पोजिशन रिस्क बिकॉज इट्स अ कॉन्ट्रा ट्रेड आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्ले सो ये रहा मेरा ओवरऑल प्ले बुक रिगार्डिंग द कॉमोडिटीज वट आई एम थिंकिंग वट काइंड ऑफ लाइक वट काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड आई एम प्लानिंग टू डू सो आई हैव क्लियर आउट दीज so overall uh, it looks quite good market uh, positioning that we can get some trade in crude oil crude is interesting very much to me and uh, gold silver going very well base metals we are not getting anything natural gas may come may not come so far nothing uh, we so we'll see you i'll see i'll probably look at the markets with you all i'll remain active but i don't think i'll be back till sunday uh so because i'm pretty busy with this live marathon coming up and also said these important uh weekend homeworks i'll have to do like looking through the scans and others so i don't think i'll be coming back before a uh, sunday or till that time all the best wishes to you follow your trading plan and trade accordingly uh, and as always happy trading